The question number one for UGC NET and JRF CS mini mock test four is in C++ which system provided function is called when no handler is provided to deal with an exception. Option A terminate, option B unaccept, unexpected, option C abort and option D kill. So you can simply say that abort and kill they are not used. They are basically used to the functionalities of ending or finishing the process may be forcefully or may not be forcefully. So we need to choose option from A or B. So unexpected it is not the answer. Answer is option A terminate the uh, it is a system provided function which is uh, which is used when no handler is provided to deal with the exception in that case terminate option is uh, used. So option A is the correct answer and guys uh, if you haven't attempted mock test 1, 2 and 3 then you can also attempt that whose link is given into the description section so that you can pace up and practice more on this exam. So question number second is data which improve the performance and accessibility of the database are called. So the data which improves the performance and accessibility of the database is called as indexes. Basically indexes are like a pointer to the data. Basically they can uh, they can work as a pointer pointer to database which will help us in uh, recognizing data with uh, uh, with more accessibility right however it will not uh, uh, increase performance but it will help us so you can say that uh, it will improve the performance and accessibility of database so indexes basically you can say that uh, in performance will be increased in terms that the pointers are directly used to access the data so in the laser time you can access the data with the better efficiency so performance will also be improved right the next question is which of the following services is not provided by wireless access point in 802.11 WLAN that is wireless access network association disassociation error correction or integration. So basically association disassociation and integration they all are the part of 802.11 wireless access network but error correction is not a part of uh, 802.11 lane basically in error correction uh, suppose the sender is here and receiver is here then they have they might have uh, somewhat uh, uh, differences in their uh, gaining or sending so for that uh, there may be error in sending or uh, receiving the file so for that uh, uh, it's different policies are there right error correction is not a part of 802.11 the next question is which of the following field in IPv4 datagram is not related to fragmentation types of services fragmentation offset flags identification so fragmentation offset flags and identification they are part of IPv4 types of services it is not a part of it is not a part of uh, IPv4 so option A is the correct answer the next question is in unix the login prompt can be changed by changing the contents of the file contrab init getidf or initf so in unix the login prompt can be changed by changing contents of the file getidefs okay getidefs by this uh, uh, by this code by this uh, uh, you can say that this uh, uh, code you can uh, Change, it will help us in login prompt in unix to change the changing contents of the file contra basically there is nothing like contra in unix in it is basically for initialization when you reboot your uh, pc and in it in it tab is basically it controls when your pc is rebooted then at that time in it tab is controls that whatever happens in there right so here option c is the correct answer because our question was that uh, unix in unix the login prompt can be changed by changing the contents of the file so for that option c is the correct answer the next question is out of these four options which system mark is system orient market oriented which system is market oriented in use for data analysis so olap okay online application of data okay online application of data it is used online application processing of the data basically it is used for uh, knowledge workers including managers executives and analytics so olap is the correct answer oltp basically used for online transaction processing and olap is online analytical processing so it is a marketing market oriented and used for data analysis 
the next question is which of the following is not congestion policy at network layer so flow control policy it is not it is not a policy it is not a congestion policy at network layer so option a is the correct answer the next question is loop unrolling is a code optimization technique basically loop unrolling is a code optimization technique which is used to avoid test at every iteration of the loop to avoid test at every iteration of the loop loop unrolling is used and uh, it will basically you can say that uh, performance will not be affected but uh, it will help to uh, reduce the checking of uh, uh, code at every step so option a is the correct answer the next question is system calls are usually invoked by using you all know that very very easy question and most uh, mostly asked question in all exam a software interrupt or basically interrupt it is a system call software interrupt is a system call which is usually invoked by using a uh, system calls are usually invoked by using software interrupts the next question is the transfers the executable images of c++ program from hard disk to main memory so loader basically loader is the answer loader is there to transfer the executable image of the c++ program from hard disk to main memory from hard disk to main memory okay from hard disk to main memory a loader loader basically loads that file so option t is the correct answer so guys do attempt previous three papers also and do subscribe for much more have a very very nice day guys if you have any kind of doubts or queries do comment us i will try to solve them as early as possible jai hind jai bharat